Beatrix, it's Kristen, and I have a haul for you. <laughs> I have no idea if I'm going to get this all filmed in one shot or not. I'm going to start now. I can see that the sunlight, I, I look delightfully glowy on this side because of the light. Uh, I'm just going to start and go through. This has been months and months of things that I have here. Um, I will try to say if it was sent to me. Sometimes I don't know where it came from doesn't matter probably not so I'm just gonna jump right in I can see something in here that the box was in there but not the product so we're gonna just jump in there are a few boxy charms I don't get boxy charm anymore but I do have some things that I wanted to share from boxy charm with you guys because one of the reasons I like to do this is because I always like to hear from you guys if there's something you've used if you use one of these products did you like it did you not like it do you have dry skin and it worked for you or dry skin and it didn't work for you oily whatever you know what I'm saying I like the deeds. So, let, who says deeds? Not, I, I shouldn't. I'm 47, 47? Yeah, 47, almost 48. Okay, let's just jump in. One of the things that I know came in a boxy jar was this Natasha Denona palette, and this is in the shade Coral. It's the Coral palette. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I, I've really enjoyed it. The only color that I didn't love so much is this center color. And I'm sure it's a topper. I just haven't used it as such. There are the first four shades. If you're new to one of my hauls, first of all, welcome. Second of all, I try to swatch things because what's the point of me showing you something without a swatch? And then that's the last shade. This is beautiful, particularly if you have blue eyes, y'all. I just love this lid, that color here is a lid color. That's that center color. So I really enjoyed this. I like her smaller palettes. I, for some reason, I really prefer them to her larger ones. Gotta get out a wipe here. But I know that I'm in the minority there. I think most people really like the big ones. But I don't know. Maybe the big ones are overwhelming. To, I, don't know. I don't know. Anywho, all right. Let us move on. Um... The next thing I have here, oh, this I purchased all on my own. This is a Murad um, Hydrating Toner. This is my favorite toner. Although, I, as I said in my empties, I would really consider repurchasing the, sorry, repurchasing that MAC Softening Lotion as a toner. I really did like that. And now it comes with a spray. I found that out when I was linking it. Uh, so, anyway, I it's driving me crazy that I look like I have a light right here. All right, moving on. Um, <clears throat> no, you know what? Maybe I bought that. I don't remember. I have another Natasha Denona palette in here that I have not used. I, I don't think. <coughs> Excuse me. I have, maybe I bought the coral and this is, a, it doesn't matter. I love these kind of shades. You guys know. So this is in the, it's called Peak. And it's again, it's number, one of the five, five pans. This one has four mattes and a shimmer. How did I totally miss this? Oh, that shimmer. Oh, sorry. I swatched before I showed you. So that is that palette. All right. Some more skincare. This is a Peach and Lily Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. So uh, I, I'm going to guess this is BoxyCharm. So we are going to give that a shot, but I'm curious if anybody has tried that. And then this is a Yensa. This, a lot of these things are box terms, so I'm going to stop saying it and just show you what I got. This is a Yensa Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. So we'll see about both of those. And again, what I'm doing here is trying to get... I have a pile of, of things on there, things I'm going to put away and things I want to leave in here to try. What I'm really trying to do by showing you guys a lot of these things is get some feedback from you guys on um, have you used anything? Do you like anything? This is going to be new to me. I have liked some Glam Glow products and not some others. This is the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. So I am just, I've been using um, the Chuda at night, and I'm, so I'm going to switch that out and try, try this one. This is a bronzer from Aesthetica. And let's just see, it is, does not have a particular shade. Ooh, but this, I got to tell you, this looks more like a contouring shade to me. It doesn't have that super warmth, so that's, that's a good thing, not complaining. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. That would be nice for light skin. It feels um, like it's going to blend nicely. 
but we'll see. I will, of course, hopefully, now that I'm trying to be a little more on top of things, do uh, some video feedback, rehauls. I, I think I'm gonna try to rehaul my most recent haul, which was quite, quite a bit ago, but I, you've used a lot of those products. Um, the brand Real Her I have used before. This is the Definer Brow Pencil, and I this is in the shade, it does not have a shade. I put them apples. It's a twist, tiny one, the spoolie on the end. Let's just give her a swatch here. And, well, she's pretty dark, but we'll see. I'm going to stick that right up here in my to-be-used-and-tried area. Uh, there is a from Pharmacy, and I, you know, sometimes I like things from Pharmacy, and sometimes I, not so much. <laughs> um, you guys, if you watched my empties, I just talked about the cleaning bee or honey bee or something bee um, cleanser that I did not like at all. This is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. So we'll give that a shot. I actually am at the end, and can we just have a very quick discussion, because I know we have things to talk about here that aren't that aren't this but Algenis changed their eye renewal balm that I've been using forever I'm not saying it's not gonna work I'm just saying they changed it and I'm a little concerned about the change okay I'm just gonna skip over a couple I had a couple of random like brush sets that I think I had gotten in box chart we skipped over those um this I have used a couple of times and it was nice I didn't think it was earth shattering by any means this is the Ciate the Editor palette. And as you guys know, since I've been sort of on hiatus, well, I realized I didn't take off that brow pencil. I don't really know what, if this is like a popular palette and not popular palette, like I, I really don't know. But let's just see there, that's what it looks like. And then I was gonna count for you guys. It looks to me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 of the 18 shades are shimmer, and then six of them are matte. So I'm gonna play with this some more for sure. Set that right there. And then another palette, and I, that I know came in box charm, another palette that came in box charm was is called the Hip Dot Palette by Zion. I've never heard of this at all, and it's a pressed pigment. And just beautiful shades. We'll just pick a couple here. Let me pick a couple mattes and, well, that's interesting. There's really only, there's only three shimmers in here and the rest are matte. One, two, three, no, four. So I did two shimmers and two mattes. <laughs> they swatched all right. Again, please let me know if you guys have any <clears throat> experience with any of this. And then there is a palette. I, I know that I use this on live a couple of times. If you've been on my lives, you've seen me use most of these things here and there. I would use them a couple of times and then. And this is called Teddy Boy by Butter London. I wiped off my hands again. So it opens like this. Has a little mirror on this side, not a very large mirror. And then this just says, looking good, darling. And then on this one, there are... Three shimmers, four shimmers, I think. Four shimmers and five mattes. I'm just picking some, again, some random of the shades. Not all of them, but some of them. <clears throat> the first one was this shade right here. I did not swatch super well. I feel like when I used this, I was like, meh. <laughs> Let's just swatch this one called Mick. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I mean, I feel like in the past, long ago, I had used some Butter London um, shadows and just wasn't super impressed with them. I'm gonna stop for a second out of this basket and grab, where did I put, oh here. Um, one of my subscribers, friends, that um, I have you know, gotten to know a little bit and her daughter um, actually, I just went to reach for coffee that's not there. Um, yeah. No, there's no coffee there. Uh, <laughs> anyway, her daughter um, sells red aspen with me. So 
she sent me this little, oh, I just, I just squeezed out way too much of it. This little, uh, a little, you know, Christmas package. And in it was the Sydney Grace eyeshadow. It's a cream eyeshadow and it's in the color Candlelight. You guys, this is stunning. If you saw my empties video and if my, um, use it up video is up yet. I'm not really sure. I was wearing this in that. Look at how pretty that is. It's such a gorgeous eyelid shade. Just absolutely stunning. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that because <clears throat> I have already worn it. It did not crease. It wore really well. I was really happy with it. And I used a paint pot beneath it. Um, okay. This is a dose of color meet your hue full coverage concealer. And I have it in the shade fair. So it's pretty light. I've not tried this yet. Which is probably why because it's just pretty light. Um, but we're going to, I'm going to try and see what I think of it. Um, it's, it's really kind of would go with the whole, you know, using your concealer a whole shade lighter than you are, which I don't generally do, but I'm going to give it a shot for you guys. We're going to try. All right. This is a mascara. I think a yeah, Kush waterproof mascara. I don't love waterproof mascara, and I am really, really, really loving the Pump It Up Maggie mascara that I'm using um, and have been for a few months. You guys, this, listen to this. Like, this is a ding dang weapon. Holy moly. Oh, it's milk. Milk makeup. Kush waterproof mascara. So let's just take a gander at the brush. It looks like a brush I would like, generally. So I'm going to stick that over here. We'll give that a try in between. Um, in between switching to a new mascara, or to a new Pump It Up Maggie. This is a Huda Very Vanta Black. It's a black eyeliner. Is that what it is? Oh, it's a liquid. I think it's a liquid eyeliner. So actually, I'm not going to open this. I'm probably going to give that to a friend because I don't generally use liquid eyeliner. Um, another thing from Huda. This is the Matte and Melted Eyeshadows. Private Jet on one side. And Shimmering Sunset on the other. Oh, that's interesting. It's a brush. I just expected a doe foot. Anybody else have that experience with this? Just me? Okay. So, uh, a really... Oh, now the matte is a doe foot. This is for your eyes, right? Like, yeah, eyeshadow. So there you go. Those are beautiful. Ooh, I'm excited about that. You can tell I'm a I am behind on playing with some of the things that I have. What what can I say? Um, I have a P a Pero Primero Primer Longwear Sticky Pigment Base. I'm gonna stick that over here. We will try that. And then this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Tinted Lip Butter. Now I like the plain old lip balm. I use it all the time. This looks like this. It is a twist up. Looks pretty dark, but it's a balm, so I suspect. Yeah, just a little, just a little hint of color. And kind of smells warm, warm vacation-y. So, so, and now it's on the ground. It's a great description, isn't it? It's fine. Okay. This is a box mostly of stuff that I purchased. Um, let's just start with this. So I, I, I'm not embarrassed to say that I am a fan of the Chrisleys. Um, I enjoy their show. I think they're funny. I like the podcast. So when Savannah came out with her collection, this is the um, Stay Sassy Full Face Palette. I was like, all right, let's just see what we think about that. It was twenty-two-ish dollars. Yeah, it still smells. I liked it. I didn't. I didn't love using it. I liked it. Um, I've used it a couple of times. I do need to use it some more. But the scent when I opened it up, I mean to tell you, you guys, it, oh, it was really, really, really strongly scented in not a good way. But at any rate, um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight of the 15 shadows are shimmer, seven are mattes, and then down here, there's a contour, a bronzer, two blushes, 
And then um, this is a highlight as well, but this could totally be used as a blush. It's just pretty shimmery and then a highlight here. So it was only like $22, but I just didn't think it was spectacular. Um, was $22. So what are you going to do? I did also get the lips and I enjoyed using the lips. I bought all of the lip um, kits. So they all came with the exact same lip liner. It does not have a color, but all of the lip kits, um, this is the bless her heart kit. I'm going to try to, there's glitter on my hand from something. So we're just going to, we're just going to let that go. Pretend that the glitter is not there. All right, so that's the liner shade that was in all of them. This is the Bless Your Heart Lipstick and Gloss. This one is the Nashville Nights. And like I said, I've used the lipstick and the, the lip glosses just a couple of times. I liked them. No issues. Too soon to weigh in on a full-on review. So that's the Nashville Nights Lipstick and the Na the Nashville Nights Gloss. This is Hush Your Mouth Lipstick and Gloss. I don't think I've worn that one because I don't remember wearing one that dark. And then lastly is Mind Your Manners. I'm gonna just kind of go up here with that one. And then that's Mind Your Manners and the gloss that goes with it. So yeah, I mean, and they're not, they're, they are, I feel like they're reasonably priced. But again, I'm just going to check to make sure that I'm not crazy. Yeah, the, the all of the lip liners are exactly the same color, which just surprised me. But they came in really nice, I thought, nice packaging like this. And they popped open and then there is your lip kit. And I know that it was her goal to make them affordable to everybody. So, you know, I, I think that at the price point that it is that, that they were. Um, so, yeah, this is just kind of an initial review, not like a full on review. Okay, so I think maybe Sephora sale is when I did this. How long ago that was? I, I, I don't know. Uh, this is the air or the uh, Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer, and I got it in the shade Silk. I had been using up some concealers and just, I just, it looks like a nice, the color looks like it's going to be perfect and it looks like such a nice smooth concealer so I'm excited to give that a go. I need to... I'm running out of things to wipe my hand off with here. I'm almost out of wipes. It's a whole situation. Uh, and then this was a replenishment for me. This is the Algenist Regenerative Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer from Algenist of all of the ones I used. The uh, Genius, the one that comes in the green, is probably my second favorite, but that one is my favorite. And then, I kind of forgot I bought this. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Moisturizing Photo Edition Foundation, and I bought it in Bamboo Beige. I don't know, you guys. Let me just shake it up, because that color does not... This is what I get. You guys, it kind of went in spurts with paying attention to things. And it's this is definitely too dark for me. Honestly. I'll find a friend to send that to. It'll be fine. I could I know I could return it, but I think I'm too late because I didn't get my act together. I stuck it in here to show you guys and then never shot the haul. So that's alright. It's my own darn fault. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a little dark. Bummer, because I really do want to try that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, these actually were sent to me by um, Jamie from Jamie Makeup. These are three cream blushes that you just, and you can use them on your lips as well. This is the nude one. That's what she calls them. The nude one, the pink one, and the red one. They are beautiful. They do blend out very nicely. Well, let's see. Right, the nude one, the red one. Oh, the cherry one. That's what it's called, the cherry one. And it's not as scary as you'd think. So that's the cherry one, and that's right there. And then lastly is the pink one. Looks like that. We'll give you a swatch right here. So there you go, the cherry, 
the nude, the pink. And I have liked them. They're, they're good to work with. I feel like they last pretty well. Not like super long, but... And um, these are the little boxes that they came in. Super cute. It was so sweet. Thank you again, Jamie. If you happen to be watching. All right. I purchased a couple... I feel like I hit my camera. Oh, there. I feel like I hit my camera at some point. I purchased a couple things from um, ColourPop because a lot of you guys in my lives were, were liking the ColourPop. So I bought the Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight palette. I have used this. I like it. Um, this has two shimmers and then the other, let's see, 4, 8, 12. The other 10 shades are matte. Um, I think that this was intended to go with the little pot shadows and use those as lid shades maybe. Um, those were sold out by the time you know I had gotten to this. I think they were they did a restock, but I probably missed that. At any rate, I like this, but using this just on its own got a little bit muddy. There just wasn't enough brightness for me, so I need to use it a little bit more. It was fine. I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't dislike it, so it was fine. All right. Lastly, and then I'm, I'm gonna need to go, and I, and in in the next clip, you'll see me in a different outfit, maybe unless I finish this later. The other thing I purchased for them was the Stone Cold Fox palette. Um, this just looked like a palette. It's, it's a very nice, neutral, cool. Um, there definitely are some rosier tones here, but this, I kind of, I kind of get a cool vibe from this. Um, I have used it, I don't know, three, four times. I like it. I just don't feel like there's a ton of variety. Now, I looked at it going in. It's not like it was a newsflash for me, but, so yeah, I don't know. I liked it. Um... I just didn't, I don't, I don't know that I would recommend it. I just don't feel like you can get a ton of different looks out of it. That's all I'm saying. You can get kind of a rosy. You could get kind of the silver and black, kind of a pretty taupey. I don't know, maybe four or five sort of different color story looks. But so, yeah, it was, it's, it's nice. I just, eh, you know what all I mean? Right. So I'm able to finish this here. Here we go. All right. So I have a few more things from PR, but before that, I want to show you guys. Um, a lot of you guys know, because you follow me on Instagram, that I um, became a uh, Red Aspen brand ambassador back in uh, April, and I really enjoyed it. I have loved the products. It's been a lot of fun. And I just want to share some of the kind of newer things with you guys. Um, the newest that we have released, you guys, I mean, you know me in a taupe. If you've been around any point at all, this is, uh, they've just released a quad, and the, their second quad, I should say. And it's called Silver Playdate, but this is just really taupe to me. It's beautiful. It's a great everyday. And then also you can take it to smoke if you want. There's three mattes and one shimmer. That beautiful shimmer right there. And the this shade here is pretty much like the perfect brow bone situation. And then... So that's that light color, that's matte, and that, look at that beautiful taupe. I mean, come on, y'all. Huh, just gets me so excited. Okay, and then the other quad that we had released, this one came out in the fall, but I don't think that I've shown it to you guys on here. And that is the Berry Playful Quad. You do that so I don't blind you guys. Just beautiful. Again, three, I'm laughing at how I can feel a dip in some of these because um, I've used it so much. This is just such a stunning lid shade. So these three are matte, and then that is shimmer. I probably am putting this on the worst spot known to man. These are all one swatch. Just beautiful. And then the other thing that was released in the fall were uh, the highlights. They had had cream highlights in the past. Just, you know getting off my swatches, and they released two powder highlights, one in pearl, which is what I'm wearing today, and then one in gold. So these are just beautiful. And I'm laughing at my watch, showing my battery status. So that's the gold, and then that, that pearl is just, it's just a stunner. And I love the pearl as an eyelid shade as well. So pretty. I can hear my, I can hear my dryer or my washer or something. Uh, okay, 
Lastly is some things from Water Beauty. And I apologize, I, I, again, I, I know that I'm late on showing some of these things. So some of them may no longer be available or some of them may be available, available and on sale. That would be a bonus. So this is the Daydreamer Eye Essentials. And in this is the Exquisite Eyeshadow in Steel Street. The Exquisite Liquid Eyeshadow in Desert Sand. The Mile High Volume and Length Mascara, which I do like. I love the Unlashed better, but I, I do like the, the Mile High. Um, the Highline Liquid Eyeliner. And then the Gleam Highlighter Stick. So I am going to pop open this fun little box. And I want to give you a couple of swatches. So I'm not going to do the liquid liner, of course. But I want to give you a couple of swatches. This is the one in... Oh, good great, You guys, this is a thing now for me. I need to have this. Steel Street. And there's... I call there's a... What do they call it? An eye glaze? I can't remember, no. Because it was on the back. I've already forgotten. Eyeshadow, they call it. I would say these are kind of like the tints. Kind of like the Giorgio Armani ones like that. I can't get the box back open. So there's that one in Steel Street. I guess it's not. It's a little bit more than a tint. But the point being, I like them because they're not like too much. You can build them up instead of them being so you know like in your face not everybody wants your eyeballs to be super reflective know what i'm saying and then this was the one the other one i'll have it listed below for you guys so those are those and then this was the so this is the gleam highlighter stick this is something that is i have a double ended here actually that has um, a highlighter and so this is just that so you just put this on your cheeks you could use this on your eyelids as a nice little quick shimmer. It's beautiful. So let me give you that. There you go. I apologize if I'm a little out of practice, you guys. It's been a while. I mean, we can all, we all see it. Anybody? <laughs> oh, that commercial cracks me up. Okay. So next in here um, was the Itinerary Mascara Duo that has, this has both the Unlashed in it as well as the Mile High. I just want to make sure it's full size of both. Um, yep, full size of both of them. So hopefully some of these are still available or like I said, maybe on sale. I, I like them both. The Unlashed is, is more my favorite. This is the Baggage Claim Upgrade Gold Eye Masks. You guys know that I'm a big fan of these, um, so I'm happy to be restocked in those. I was very thankful to them for sending these. Let me just pull one out and show, show you all that. So this is a Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I have one of these that I use on occasion already, so I have that stuck in there. Um, it, it's a, it is a really nice, adds a little moisture and also adds a little glow to your face. Let me put that there because I'm going to give that to a friend of mine. And then this is the Lip Retreat Oil. Um, that looks like this, and it has, let me show you guys, the, the applicator. It has that really nice kind of angled applicator. And it's just, I'm just going to show you guys so you can see. There's no color to it, just a little oil. And it just, I like, I have added this when I'm working from home because I'm not wearing a mask. Um, I've used, I think I, where did I put that one? I had one of these open that I was using that... Um, it's just, it's just nice. It's just a little something other than chapstick or Burt's Bees or whatever. It's kind of just a little treat for your lips. This I have used already and absolutely love. I'm, I'm very happy to have a backup of this. It's the Mist Connection. I've already used a full size of these. They're getting into their packages sometimes, like Fort Knox, really. I'll show you what this looks like. It's just a beautiful, it's, a, it's called Essence and Toner. I've used a full one of these already and really, really, really liked it. So, again, excited to have that. Oh, I tell you, I'm, I'm just, and I just talked about this. You're going to see me talk about this. This is, this one I purchased. Um, the Dive-In Moisturizer. I love this. This is a lovely moisturizer. Um, it's going to be in my favorites. I've already, for 2020, I've already mentioned that in my um, empties, but so I have one of these that I purchased. So some of these things they sent, some of the things they purchased, 
I've lost track of what was what at this point. So I know that was a long one. I know my hair looks flat because it's been so long. <laughs> because it took me so long to get through this. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you have anything that you have used of these that you like, didn't like, whatever, please let me know that below. I just, I really like to, th that's half the fun of a haul for me, is reading your experience. I should wipe this off before I'm wearing all of these things. Um, your experience with the products that I've shared, if it differs with the few that I have tried and had some experience with, I really like to know all of those things. So share the goods with me. Uh, and I think that, that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. And in everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.